I am so proud of these dancers, I can't tell you. I never would have dreamed that they would have come from a small Irish dance school in the city of Chicago to what is now an international touring company worldwide. Um, these are the daughters and sons of cops, butchers, accountants, and they are now ambassadors for the city and for the, uh, the United States. And uh, I, I'm just so proud of them, it's beyond words. All these girls that I dance with now, I've known most of them since I was 11, 12 years old. So we grew up um, taking Irish dance lessons together. And because of that, there's a special bond that is between all of us. Irish dance is really similar to gymnastics or figure skating. When you grow up, you go to competitions and it's a competitive thing. So Mark Howard was our coach. One, two, three, go, boom. We all admire Mark and what he has accomplished himself and what he has helped us accomplish. Um, he's very disciplined and I think he's taught us a lot through the years about discipline and about respect and just simply about believing in ourselves and what we can accomplish and what we can do. And one, boom, good. Let me see that thing up there. Mark Howard is uh, a, a wonderful man, a kind man, a generous man, whose creative abilities are almost unexplainable. You know, he's just, he's able to bring out the best in people, uh, not only physically as a dancer, but uh, emotionally too. I was born in England of Irish parents and at the age of two came over on the Queen Mary Ocean Liner and frankly I thought that every child in Chicago grew up being an altar boy and uh, taking Irish dance lessons and voting Democratic. Uh, but uh, one of my vivid, most, most vivid memories early on was my mother dressing me up in the Irish kilt which uh, my local friends would call a dress and having me go down to St. Ignatius Parish. Um, one mile each way every St. Patrick's Day so that I could be paraded from one room to the next wearing the kilt so I could Irish dance for everybody and I could hear the, uh, the knuckles cracking in the back of the, the room <laughs> and uh, when I'd go to recess of course I'd be in a lot of fist fights and then I'd have the you know heck beat out of me all the way home and when I get home my Irish mother would tell me um, well you know if that's the way they behave they're not your friends and I'd be like you think? <laughs> A big part of all of this for me has been family and neighborhood and, and city and um, growing up Irish American in the city of Chicago, one of my greatest memories was my father, who was born in Ireland, taking me downtown on a great day uh, to meet Richard J. Daly and present him with the tickets to the St. Patrick's Day Parade. And my father couldn't have been prouder. Who'd have thought, you know, years later that I would have even gone on to teach Irish dancing and that uh, our Trinity Dance School would have done well. and. Uh, we, we actually got to go back and present uh, Richard M. Daly with the gold medal from the World Championships. Um, so it's a, it's a wonderful legacy of, of sons and, and fathers and uh, being Irish American growing up in this town. Very early on, I just had a dream to be a, an Irish dance teacher in the city. And at age 17, I had 25 kids in a park district somewhere in the Northwest Side. I started with Mark Howard, he was my first teacher, and actually my first class was in a bowling alley um, on the northwest side of Chicago. And to be honest with you, I had no talent whatsoever. My feet were complete, completely pigeon-toed, whereas in Irish dancing, just like ballet, it's supposed to be turned out from the hip, so I really technically had very bad form. But um, I remember have, him having a conversation with my mom saying, you know, she needs a lot of work on her form, but she does have the potential and I think she has the heart. So um, throughout these years, he's been so encouraging and just really kind and really there. So it was that early teacher coach connection that was power for me. And um, I remember going to sleep at night um, at age 17 or 18 thinking, if I die tomorrow, I've lived an incredibly full life. But after that, we actually started to believe that we could win world titles for the United States. And finally, in 1987, after two or three visits and, and winning silver medals, we finally broke that emerald barrier and did win the gold medal for the United States. The next thing I knew, we were uh, getting a call to be on The Tonight Show. That led to so many different national TV appearances, which then led to so many people seeing us in a multimedia way and got us invited to do films and, more importantly, to travel abroad. And the next thing I knew was actually choreographing more for performance rather than competition. So it was at this unique moment that we started to make this transition from the competitive stage and make this leap to the concert stage, which was very significant. Uh, but it was all an accident. This is all about growing. Growing with each other, growing in our communities. I'm very proud to be a Chicagoan. I'm very proud to be an Irish American. It's about growing with the art form itself. It's about pushing boundaries. It's about carving new traditions, but there's so much more to attain. There are so many more dreams, and it's not really that important that we actually attain all of them, but just that we try. 
And so starting tomorrow morning, we'll keep trying.